Tell me how to fight it. I hid the answer in a microbe this one carries. It turns the male parasites into females, preventing reproduction. One parasite infecting another. However, it doesn't affect only the parasite. It alters the host as well. The infection will be contained. But you and your men will also be rendered infertile. Ah. That is the price you must pay to regain your speech. I thought he was going to tell me that I'm going to become a chick. <laughs> I was going to be like, oh god. That freak show back there. They the work of your children too? A different strain from the vocal cord parasite. Known as the one that covers. It acts as the host's skin, providing strength in exchange for nourishment. But I did not know those men were infected. They were forced to serve him. Then steal my research. Have you seen one of their vehicles? Big yellow cake. It's captured a convoy they were escorting. Cargo some kind of mineral. What became of it? The metallic archaea. Out ahead! Uh-oh. It's them. To be continued. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. That's a first. It's them to be continued. Oh, God fucking damn it. Boss, are you okay? So the vocal cord parasites that have infected my base. Updated. They're ethnic cleansers designed to silence those who don't fit into Skullface's worldview. We can't allow him to have such power. Go over the mission details and get going ASAP. Okie dokes. So let's look at this. We have to fight the metallic Archaea. Fight off the Skull's assault and return to base with Kotaker. An unusual mist has blanketed the area. The Skulls must be eliminated before it will clear. Okay. So kill the Skulls. Got you. Before we do that, I should probably customize my helicopter. Give it some better everythings. Can't do armor, but I can improve the chassis. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. It is automatically improved. I'm really sad that I don't get a chance to, like, unlock more camo patterns. Half of these I don't like. <laughs> that sucks. Alright. Let me... go over some of my shit again. Uh, let's see. Hey, I got Halmuth as a reward. That's nice. And 450,000 GMP. All right, we need to look at all the people who are in quarantine right now. And then identify the other language besides Kakongo that is getting infected. I don't know, I, it just seems like put everybody who speaks Kakongo into the place and everything's gonna be fine. It's hard to, like, examine who doesn't speak Kakongo. So fuck it, we'll just try and wrap up the mission so eventually... <laughs> we'll just have a cure and not to worry about this shit anymore. I highly doubt that they want us to deal with this shit for so long. Jeez. Please select a mission. Alright. Mission 21. Or 29. We cannot do this one with quiet because apparently that will break the game. I don't know what I should be using here. Oh, 
Bombs ahead! It's them. You should probably strap in, buddy. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Uh oh. Our, our helicopter is rusting? Shit! Okay, I've made mistakes. I thought we were gonna fight in the helicopter, so I didn't actually adjust my loadout for fighting against these guys. Man, if the old man lived to that, I'll be impressed. Oh, he's either dead or knocked out. We're gonna go with knocked out, because that would suck to kill, get introduced to this guy and then have him immediately killed. It looks like you're surrounded by mist. The support chopper can't get close to your position right now. Coming. Now they growl. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, I really wish I had started with a rocket launcher. We are their quarry. not die to the heavily armored dudes with guns. Oh look, I died immediately. Snake, talk to me. Snake. God. So should I be moving Code Talker or fighting back? Damn it! I tried to fucking counteract him. It didn't work. Oh! Fucking! Oh my god, damn shit! You know fucking what? Fuck it! Fuck it! 
We're getting rocket launchers and we're gonna blow them all to hell! Yeah, I'm working on it, Kaz. I kind of decked myself out in everything that I possibly could. Stop this shit, motherfucker. Tired of that. You always catch me very slightly off guard. And that tells me you can get your hit off. But not this time, motherfucker. <laughs> he threw that at me. That's cute. Uh, I'm gonna get in my tank before I blow it up. All right, excuse me. Woo! Hi, how you doing? Please don't get on top of my tank. Oh shit, they're not getting. Look at that. Half my tank is rusted off already because of all that shit that happened. Stop rusting my tank! It costs money to bring this out! I rammed him. Oh, great. It disabled my tank completely. Awesome. Okay. Well, backup plan. Okay. Ah, he almost disabled it already. I barely got into this thing. All right, I only have 500 shots. I gotta make a count. Oh, get the fuck out of here! The good news is they cannot mount the D Walker, and that's nice. At least I don't think they can. <laughs> So it's nice that I can actually keep my momentum while going. I just can't keep a constant acceleration. You know, I could probably do this a lot faster just with explosions. Oh well. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tank, that you had to suffer. <laughs> You'll get repaired, man. Don't worry. I don't know what the hell they think they're doing. They're getting all in front of me and shit. Oh, look, a skull is dead. Maybe you shouldn't stand directly in front of me. Oh, look, another skull is dead. The D Walker is ultimate. And it's out of ammo. The D Walker used to be ultimate. Uh, I don't think so, friend. Walk! Woo! Two melee things they should have been dodging, huh? I understand. Oh, that's shenanigans. I was totally CQCing back. Oh, I missed? I don't think so. Not that one. Not that time. Hey, I got a skull down! Oh my god, I hit him with it! <laughs> that was completely by accident. That's great. Ooh, that was close, motherfucker! <laughs> Let's see if you like rocket launch all to the face. Kaboom! You're close to death, friend. I hate the skulls, man. Jesus. Is this just completely broken? I have no chance of recovering it? Damn. That's a shame. Alrighty! 
<laughs> Let's pick up Gold Docker or Cold Walker. I just don't know his name anymore. Hey, look, the Gatling gun's back up. I guess I got ammo for that. I didn't realize it. That was a toughie. Development project has been added. Mission complete. Great work. Hey, I did it. What what was the bonus objective up there? Completed the mission without being grabbed by a puppet soldier. Oh, yay. The lesson is when the going gets tough, equip every possible asshole thing you can grab and suddenly everything will be fine. I got my battle dress, my rocket launcher, my grenade launcher, a tank, and fucking the D-Walker. Just to deal with those guys. Oh, what pricks. Whew. Hey, Ocelot's out here on the field for once. That's nice. Well, I guess he's here no again. longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection. By exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on sight, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium and weaponize it. Loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. That's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man, not a country. They proliferate. Conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. Hmm. That's one way to, uh, do things. Give nukes to everyone! Suddenly, not everyone has power. Skullface is a dick. The R&D and medical teams have come up with a proposal for a new suit that applies Code Talker's research. The Parasite Suit. Apparently, it can recreate some of the Skull's unusual abilities. But in order to use those abilities, it needs Parasites. If you want to wear this suit, you're gonna need to get a hold of Parasites by extracting Skulls. Oh. I can do that. I know a mission that I can do that in. The one just before this one. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. We tried to extract them, but it had a 0%. And I couldn't even pick them up, so... I'm gonna have to be taught how to do that. <laughs> we need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base.
About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. Oh, there you go. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Volbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. A parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Oh boy. So does that mean I lost a hundred people from other base who were symptomatic? Cause that kinda would suck. <laughs> That's so mean, Kojima. Again with a truth serum. What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> oh, dude. Metallic Archaea. Sohilanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sir Helanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skull Face is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and zeroes. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sahelanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. Thank you. 
Okay, B Zero. The Philanthropist is beyond the Soviet base camp in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Oh no, Ocelot, you already took out his eyes. Come on! No! No! Wait! Dude, they're so fucking cruel. Holy shit. We got word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB-0. That's where he'll activate Sahelanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. To be continued again, again, to Episodes back to back of To Be Continued. So I guess we're heading back to Afghanistan. We gotta go fuck up Solanthropus. Holy shit, that's a lot of cassette tapes. 219 staff recovered. Yay! Unit function resume, okay. weather modification, the say what? Project has been added. Say what? About weather modification, friend? I don't remember that. Ah, oh, jeez. Let me just go through this real quick. What can I... Nab. Now that we have a decent amount of money. I also, uh... Started upgrading a couple of things. Let's see. Ooh. Durability up, reduced waiting time? That's nice, fuck yeah. Whoops. Get the eye droid up. I want everything that's good. And then here's the parasite suit. Special prototype combat suit based on the skull's parasite technology. Equipped with cartridges containing parasites to activate the same special abilities as the skulls. Restricts mission completion ranks to an A or below and cannot be used during FOB missions. Aw, oh, man! That's lame. Alright, well, we're building up a rhythm, so we might as well head on out. Why do I have this? A special silver naked uniform that Quiet wears only for those who have earned her trust. Its magnificent her magnificent radiance will leave enemies awestruck. <laughs> it's just a silver thing. That is so random. Okay. Please select a mission. Skullface. Skullface has occupied the secret Soviet weapon design bureau OKB-0 OK and advanced his plan to its final phase. Oh, gosh. Should I do this? We still have tons of side ops to do. We've only done 39 out of 157 side ops. Holy shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's try and stop Skullface. Skullface. 